Hey guys! Today I'm going into Nara City for work and I just found out about a temple called Ofusa Kanlon that I'd never heard of before and it's famous for two things apparently. One is a huge rose garden that blooms in autumn and winter and the other one is on right now and that is a wind chime festival that looks absolutely beautiful. So if it doesn't start raining, fingers crossed, I'm gonna go and see that after work. So let's go to Nara. I arrived super early as I am wont to do, so I came to the park to see the beautiful deer. Look at them all. There's some over this way too. Wow. Hey guys, so I am done with work for the day and I'm just waiting at the station now for the train to Unebi, which is where we're going to see the temple. In the meantime, I have some lunch that I got from a local bakery, so let's enjoy that. And then in about half an hour, we'll be on the train on the way to the temple. Let's do this. I'm in Unebi and now I'm just following signs for the temple. We're definitely getting close now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But that is the sound of wind chimes. Pretty much just following them at this point. Let's hope I find my way.
so I am back home now and boy is it hot out there today around 32 degrees with like 70 something percent humidity <laughs> um, however I did find Officer Kanon Temple in case you couldn't tell by the previous footage and it was absolutely stunning so first I'm just going to go over the one downside of the place just to get it out of the way and that is that it could be a little bit difficult to find so if you don't read Japanese and you don't have a map application available to you I would skip this one just because while it is only 10 minute walk from Unebi station those 10 minutes are down some serious side streets and alleyways so I would just give this one a miss if you don't read Japanese because none of the signs are in English I definitely wouldn't have felt comfortable going there if I couldn't read Japanese so on to everything else about the place which was just incredible I really hope that the footage has captured how magical it felt because I don't think I can put it into words but it was just amazing like all these magical tinkling wind chimes oh, and they had like all different kinds of wind chimes so they had all different sounds it was so beautiful every wind chime was unique and different some were glass some were metal some were porcelain oh it was so amazing probably one of my favorite just off-the-cuff random trips that I've done in Japan really incredible and I think this is quite a lesson known about festivals so if you happen to be in Japan around midsummer I definitely recommend this as a little tiny trip within Nara. It doesn't take very long and it's absolutely stunning. Just such a beautiful experience. Like I said, I really hope the footage captured some of that and I hope you enjoyed this video because I had a really great day today and I hope it showed through. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.